Hey guys, very nice to see you again on this channel and it's time to draw something cute and procreate again. And I thought why not draw this magical whale. This illustration would be perfect for a social media post like Instagram. It also will be a cute drawing for a nursery or even a postcard. So, you know, you can decide what you're gonna do with this. And in this tutorial we'll use a few brushes. We will, as always, use the octopus ink and you can download this brush for free. I will leave the link in the description below. You can, will also use the 6B pencil, this is the Procreate brush, and everyone should have it. And we'll also use my brush, the star brush that I created. This brush is, is part of the Star Doodle uh, brush pack that you can buy on Etsy if you want, but we'll be using this brush and I'll leave the link in the description so you can download it is, and use it as well. And we will also use the color palette, the magical whale, and I will also leave the link in the description so you can download it and use it. But as always, you can use your own colors to treat the drawing and make it more fun. And now let's get started. And the first thing we'll have to do is create a new canvas. We'll go to this little plus sign. You can choose any size of the canvas you want. I'll go with square because most of my drawing I post on Instagram, so I figured square works the best. And when we have our canvas ready, we'll start our drawing and we'll start it with the whale. So we'll draw the whale first, then we'll add details to the whale and go to the background. So we'll go to the layer panel, we'll go to this layer, we'll rename it, we'll call it whale one, because we'll have two parts of the whale and I'm just not creative with names, so I guess we'll just use that. We will use this uh, gray right here and we'll make sure that we're using the octopus ink brush. And the first thing we'll have to do is create the overall shape of the whale. It will be super easy. So we'll start somewhere here in the middle of the canvas almost. We'll create a line and then make it go down, sort of like that. Create a second line in this kind of shape. And don't forget to connect it because that's important. Now you can color fill it. So that's the shape of the whale. Awesome. So that was super easy. Now we'll go to the layers and we'll create a new layer on top. We'll call it whale2. Again, I'm not super creative with names. So that would be the second part of the whale. And now we'll go to the color palette and we'll switch to this blue. Now we'll draw on top of this whale. So all we have to do now is kind of repeat this line. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Then we have to connect, but somewhere in the middle of the whale. So something like this. Good. Make sure it's connected and we can color fill it. It's a little thin, so I want to make this layer a little thicker. So again, I will go here and just work a little more in it. I will color the rest of the area. Probably make this a little bigger. Now we'll create the tail. We'll do it on the same layer. So we'll create one. Flip. Sort of like this, and we'll create another one. I might want to move my wheel a bit, so I'm going to move it to the other side a bit, so I have space for another one. Now you can color it. And it's sort of like the basic shape of the tail. The basic thing is ready, now we'll create the flaps. So we'll create one here. All we have to do is create a line down, like this. And now we'll create the second part of the flap this way. Again, don't make it pointy. Just color it. So here we go. And we'll create one more going this way. So like this. So the basic shape of the whale is ready. It was super easy and super fast. Now we'll go and add some details to the whale and we'll add shading. We'll start with this part. So we'll go to this part. We'll create a clipping mask on top. We will rename this layer. We will call it shading one. Again, not very creative. 
but just work with me here. Now we'll go to the 6B pencil and we'll take this first gray right here. We'll make our brush big and all we have to do is just add the shading to the side of the whale. So sort of like this yeah, to make it this part stand out. Don't be afraid, that, but don't um, press too hard on your brush. We still want to make it, you know, we still want to have a soft kind of shading. Be gentle with this. Add a little bit under the part two. Awesome. Now we'll switch our brush to this uh, darker gray and we'll add a little bit to the bottom. Again, same spot. Awesome. Add a little bit here, just a little more here, a little more here. Now we'll make our brush smaller and we'll go and add shadow under the flip. So we'll add a little bit here. Now you can't really see, but then we'll add some lighter parts to this part of the flip and you will see the difference. Now I'll switch my color to this. I'll make my brush small and on the same layer, all we have to do is create the lines. You know, those, the, those lines that all whales have, when you do them, don't press too hard. That's perfect. Now we'll go and add more details to this part. So we'll go to the whale 2, we'll create a new layer on top, we'll create a clipping mask out of it, and we'll name it Shading 2. We'll switch our brush to this, we'll use this 3, so we'll switch to the first one, make our brush big and we'll go and add some shadow, so we'll add here, add the flip and add the top, we'll also add to the tail, good, we'll also add a little bit here. And we'll also add, add the flip here. Good. Okay, now we'll switch our brush to the darkest blue right here, which is next to the lightest one. And we'll go and to the same areas and add just a little more. More to the flip right here. Then we'll add just a bit here. Good, and make sure that this flip is also dark. Good. Now we'll switch our brush to the lightest blue right here and we'll add more. So we'll add on this side. You know, something like this. Looks magical. Now we'll add to this side of the flip. So now you can see the contrast, like this, we'll add to the tail from this side. Good, and we'll go to the top and we'll add just a bit here, just a hint of light here. Good, we'll add just a little more right here. You can even make your brush smaller and add the strokes like this. And here we go! That's all! Now we'll go and add the cute little stars on top of him because he is magical. So we'll go on top, we'll create a new layer, we'll call it stars. We'll switch our brush to yellow and we'll take the star brush. We'll make it a little smaller, it's about 3, yeah, about 3%. And we'll just add a cute stars here on his back. So just add a few stars somewhere. Then you can make it smaller and add smaller stars. Like this. Yeah, he's magical. Now you can switch your brush to white, so double tap on this white area, it will take the pure white. And now you can add the white stars, stars as well.
Now we can switch our brush to the octopus ink again and we'll just add little dots like this. Don't forget to make some smaller and some bigger. You should make some of them super small so it will look like they, you know, the fairy dust. So you see mine, some of them are, you know, very small. Just work on it a little, it will take some time to do that. Keep drawing. Good. Now you can switch your brush back to yellow and add the same dots but yellow. And here we go! Now he looks magical, like he has some fair dust on his back, which is super cute, I think. When we're almost done with the veil, we just have to create one more thing, the eye. And we'll switch our brush to this blue, we can actually go back to the shading, we'll create the eye on this layer, so we don't have to create it. an entire new layer for this, and we'll create just a cute eye like this. Awesome, now we can start working with the background. So we'll go to the layers, we'll click background color layer and we'll click on this first blue. Now we will go and create a new layer on top of this background layer. We will call it background details. We'll switch our brush to this light blue. And all we have to do is just add those shapes because our whale is floating in this beautiful areas. Our whale is floating in this, I don't even know what it is, in some magical sea. So, so we just want to add those kind of things. Good, awesome. Now we'll go on top and we'll create clouds. So we'll rename this layer clouds. We'll switch our color to white. And we'll just have to draw one cloud and then we can duplicate it and move it to the other sides. So we'll start from here to draw. Sometimes I draw it this way. Yeah, the basic shape and then you can just color it. Good. And if you don't like it, the shape, it, the, the shape, the way it looks, you can always fix it. But I, overall, I think that's the easiest way to create clouds. So we have one, sh uh, one cloud. Now I will duplicate it and I will move it to the other parts of my drawing. I'm going to make it bigger. Good. Now I will duplicate this cloud again. I'll move it here. Good. And now I'll duplicate it again. And I'll create one more cloud, but I want to make it super big. So I'll take it here. Sort of like this. Awesome. Now I can merge these clouds together and I want to move this layer on top. So the clouds kind of touch the oil. Awesome. So we're almost done with the drawing. Now I will go and create new layer. We will call it background stars. I will again switch to this star brush and I'll add a few big stars to the drawing. Now also add smaller stars to the drawing. Good. Yeah, now I'll switch back to the octopus ink brush. And I'll just create again those dots. But again, you have to make them a lot of them. So you'll create that magical feeling. Give yourself some time to draw. Because you want to make it magical. And when you see this kind of stars, it gives you that magical feeling. You can use any any other brush for this, by the way. You don't have to stuck with my favorite brush and no pressure when I say my favorite brush. Good. Okay. Now I'll switch my color to yellow and I'll switch my brush to star again. I'll make it a bit bigger. 
and I'll add a few yellow stars. Awesome! Now, and I'll show you one more step, which is totally optional. You don't have to do that, I'm just doing it because I like doing it. But again, you create a new layer on top, you take this color, and you also switch your brush to the oh, crumble brush, my favorite, not my new favorite brush. But you don't have to do this, you can use any other Procreate texture brush if you want to add some texture. Now all you have to just drag this layer onto the uh, whale and just add some texture to it. But again, this is a totally optional step. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it because I, I want some texture. And now when I'm actually thinking, I'm thinking of changing this color, this uh, color to the little bit darker. So I will go to the, my uh, background details. I'll switch to this and I will add it. Now it kind of looks transparent, so I'll just use this. So I'll go back to my new layer and I'll just add a little more. So you see it adds some texture to the drawing. I think it's cute. But again, you don't have to do this. This is a totally optional step. You can totally skip it or you can add some texture with your favorite texture brush. But that's all for the drawing. We have created this cute whale guy in Procreate. It's so magical and you can use this illustration for many purposes. You can print it, you can post it on Instagram and if you will be posting it on Instagram, don't forget to tag me because I'm always happy to see your work. I get so excited when I see tags on Instagram. So if you will be drawing it and if you like this drawing, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and you'll make my day. Also, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe because the new tutorial is coming out every week and we draw cute little things in Procreate and I'll be so happy to see you again. But that's all for this tutorial. I hope to see you again and until then, bye!